everybody. My name is Allie. I am a best-selling international author. Um, I have a couple books out currently. They are multi-author books that I've written with Kiva Publishing called Sovereign and Jaguar Medicine. I have a third one coming out. It is called Isis, Mother of Magic. So if you want to go ahead and check those out, they're available on Amazon. I highly recommend them. They're very inspirational stories of 29 different women who have walked through the fires of hell and come out on the other side. So I highly recommend those books. Um, I kind of wanted to come on and introduce myself a little bit. And um, I want to start a nine day novena um, of the rosary. Um, and I actually tried to, um, um, I tried to record this video a minute ago and it just got deleted so um, that was interesting I had to start over um, but if you don't know what the rosary is um, it is this it's much like a mala if you know what a mala is but it has a crucifix on one end and then it has five decades of the rosary um, and you, it's a Marian prayer, which means it's pray to the Virgin Mary. And it's um, a Catholic tradition if you don't know what it is. But it was instituted by the Virgin Mary to St. Dominic in the 13th century. And um, the Virgin Mary gave it to St. Dominic to pray instead of praying the Psalms. Um, and it does consist of three prayers, three main prayers anyway. The Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Glory Be. Uh, the rosary beans, the, day, the prayer, the beads themselves, they're to help um, keep count of the prayers because you have to um, count, you have to pray 10 Hail Marys, so it just keeps count of the beads. Um, so for every decade of the rosary, which is every 10 beads, you have mysteries to meditate on. Um, originally, there were only three mysteries of the rosary. They were the Joyful, Glorious, and Sorrowful Mysteries. Um, in 2002, Pope St. John Paul II added another set of mysteries called the Luminous Mysteries. These are to be set on Thursdays. So every set of mysteries has its own specific day to be set on. You have the Joyful Mysteries, which are to be recited on Mondays and Saturdays. These are the Annunciation, where Archangel Gabriel told the Virgin Mary that she was pregnant with Jesus. The visitation um, of Elizabeth to Mary where Elizabeth um, announced that, you know, she was the mother of Jesus. She felt um, St. John leap in her stomach, like kick. Um, the nativity of Jesus where Jesus is born. The presentation of our Lord in the temple. Um, I believe when you're 12, um, and in the Jewish tradition, you have to um, be presented in the temple. Um, and then the finding of Jesus in the temple when uh, Mary and Joseph were on their way home from presenting Jesus. They couldn't find him and they had to turn their caravan back around and they went to go look for him and found him in the temple uh, preaching God's word to the adults there in the temple. You have the Sorrowful Mysteries. These are to be set on Tuesdays and Fridays. And they are the Agony of Jesus in the Garden where uh, Jesus was about to be crucified and um, betrayed. And he was praying, um, you know, basically not to have to go through that. We have the Scourging at the Pillar when the Roman soldiers took him from the garden and they started his punishment. They were whipping him and they were scourging him at the pillar. You have Jesus is crowned with thorns. They were mocking him since um, they were saying he was the king of the Jews and mocking him. And then uh, Jesus carried the cross um, up the hill to be crucified. And then you finally have the crucifixion of Jesus. Then we have the Glorious Mysteries. These are to be recited on Wednesdays and Sundays. It's the resurrection of Jesus when he was already crucified and resurrected. The ascension of Jesus, he ascended into heaven. The descent of the Holy Ghost when the Holy Ghost came down with the disciples. 
and they started speaking in tongues. We have the assumption of Mary into heaven. Um, since Mary was the mother of Jesus and stood by him and was pure and holy, she was assumed body and soul up into heaven. And then Mary is crowned the queen of heaven. Then we have the uh, luminous mysteries. I've never really prayed the luminous mysteries because since I'm very traditional Catholic, they weren't traditionally in the lineup. But they're to be said on Thursdays. It's the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River, the wedding at Cana, the proclamation of the kingdom, the transfiguration where um, Jesus turned his body and blood into the bread, the or turned the bread and the wine into um, the body and blood of Christ, and then the institution of the Eucharist. The Eucharist is the um, the bread, the blood, the body of Christ. Um, that Catholics receive on in Mass, at Mass. Um, so the beginning of the prayer, or the beginning of the Rosary is the Apostles' Creed, and the ending of the prayer is the Salve Regina. So, Our Lady of Fatima um, told three children, Sister Lucia de Los Santos, and her two cousins, Francisco and Jacinta, that if Russia was to be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Russia would be converted and then would lead the world in peace. However, if Russia were not to be consecrated, the, the Russia would continue to spread its negativity throughout the world. So the Vatican said that Sister Lucia told them in a private letter um, back in the... I'm going to get it wrong, 19, 1980s, I think, uh, that the ceremony they performed in St. Peter's Square um, consecrating Russia to the Virgin Mary had been performed and that it was good enough. This is actually highly disputed among traditional Catholics like the... Um, oh, let me see if I can get it. Like the traditional Catholics. There's different groups. But anyway, I highly doubt that the ceremony they performed in St. Peter's Square was valid because Russia is doing what Russia does. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to come on and announce that I was going to be doing this nine-day novena. I will be starting tomorrow, March... March 10th, I'll be starting this, and I'll go until the 19th, um, and I might go longer, it just depends, um, and I think that's all, so if you want to join me for my novena of the rosary, you're more than welcome to do so, I hope to see you tomorrow, have a good night.